hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel or if you're new hi welcome my name's donna um and as you can tell i have a timu haul love timu can't stop buying from timu and um so here we are with another one so i just want to show you what i've got um i've written all the prices down bearing in mind the prices fluctuate all the time so this is just the prices that i paid um and yeah so i've got two um because for some reason when i put my first order in something that i wanted for some reason didn't go through so i then had to put in another order um and to get free delivery you've got to spend over 15 quid so um yeah i've got two smallish orders i think one was 20 pound and one was 16 pound something um so not massive orders but i still like to show you what i got um it is the middle of the night i say middle of the night it's actually morning um i woke up at half past four um and i thought you know what i'm wide awake i'm gonna do my timu haul um and it's best for me to do it downstairs in the evening because i have budgies i have six and they are quite chitty chatty budgies um, as birds are by day really wouldn't be able to do it by day downstairs um, but they are fast asleep um, so they're nice and quiet so uh, yeah so uh, but it is now five o'clock in the morning um, what time did I go to bed I went to bed at midnight woke up at 4 30 I've just had a cup of tea and a cigarette wrote down all the prices from my team order and here we are so i'm going to get into it um i'll start with i'll start with this thing first crazy to think that there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 17, 18. Uh, yeah, there should be 17 items in this bag. I don't know how, but we will see. So. First item. Now, I told you, I've got some budgies. I've only had them for about couple of months um so uh yeah so we're still quite new to it um but they love the bird swing um and i've only got one in there at the minute and the six budgies take turns i've got a massive long perch um but yeah they take turns sitting on the swing and two sit on here at a time so i thought i'll get another swing now i paid about seven pounds for my swing like this um from the pet store this one cost me bird swing one pound 48 so uh it's got a little metal hanger there i don't know if you can see it through the bag but it hangs on a little metal hanger and uh, it's got a couple bells at the bottom and um yeah so i got that for the birdies you might hear a little chirp. I'm trying to be quiet because I don't want to disturb them too much. So I'm hoping you can hear me. Um, but every now and again, I hear a little chirp. So. Um, I got this from my partner. It is a high power LED light USB charging. It's tiny. I was expecting it to be a bit bigger. I don't know how big I was expecting it to be because obviously you wear it on your head. But so it comes with a little cable, and that's obviously the head strap that goes around your head. And then this is the little gadget. See, he's got one of these already, but it's literally just a one light with various settings. This one's got five, as you can see. Um, 
but yeah, I just thought for the price of how much it was, um, it was cheap as chips. Um, let's tell you how much that one was. So bird swing, done. So I like to cross them out as I go. Headlamp, £2.97. Bargain, if it works. Next up, I got myself some dental floss sticks. Um, last time I went to the dentist. Now, I'm really bad. I don't, or I've, I do now, um, but I never used to floss my teeth. I used to just brush them. Um, I've got an electric toothbrush and I used to just brush my teeth and through being a smoker, my gums are receding quite a bit. Um, and um, I tend to get a lot of plaque when I go dentist every six months. He's always having to get rid of the plaque and stuff in between my teeth. And he said, you, you know, my partner uses a floss and I really struggle with the floss. So he recommended the little sticks, which I have been using. Um, but then I saw these ones and these had really, really good reviews um, on Timu. So there's a hundred in there. Um, they do come with a little tiny case um, that holds a couple for like if you go away and stuff and plus for storing it. Um, but yeah, there's a hundred picks. These are Dr. Emma Every Day is Earth Day Dental Picks. Soft, flexible rubber bristles. So, um, yeah, so I've got a pack of them. Uh, these were dental sticks, £1.47. See, I paid between three and four pounds for my ones that I got. Um, so I thought I'd give them a whirl. And the fact that there's a hundred, um, I think in the pack that I got, I think there's about 12, 10 maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's a hundred. So that'll keep me going for ages. Um, and uh, and yeah, and these are rubber bristles rather than the wiry sort of bristles that are on the ones that I have been using. Um, so yeah, so I've got them. Cool. Now this one, um, my buddies do love apple. Um, and I've just been putting apple because we've got a real apple tree branches in there, in the aviary, um, which they like to perch on. And obviously there's um, like ends to the branch and I just wedge bits of apple on it. <clears throat> but it tends to get scat down on the floor and once it hits the floor, it's no good. And then I saw this on there and you can put other things on it. Um, it's a little bit like a kebab stick. Um, I'll take it out of the packet so you can see it. <clears throat> so there's a, I'm assuming that, yeah, so that screws off the bottom. Take this one off and then you can pop your apple on it. Now, I would do an apple corer through it because they're not allowed the seeds. Um, apple completely fine, but they're not allowed apple seeds. So I would do a cora, get rid of all the middle part of the apple, and then I thought just pop it on there and they can eat it to their heart's content. Um, and I just thought that was a funky little gadget. Um, but I've also seen in the pictures, you can put things like pepper, um, other sorts of fruits and vegetables that they like on here, carrot, um, broccoli, you know, there's all sorts of bits on here that you could put on there. You just got to make sure that your birds are allowed to eat it because um, there are certain things that they're not allowed. Um, but um, but yeah, I just thought that was quite cool. So um, I will put that in the cage. I'm um, not quite sure where it's going to go at the minute because I don't know how they would. I might have to put it on somewhere near the perch maybe. But I don't know. I'll sort out where it's going to go. But I thought that was quite a good little... Gadget, how many things have I done so far? One, two, three, so this is number four. So, fruit holder, this was 89p. So, that is that. Now, this is tiny. Um, I wasn't expecting this to be this tiny. 
um, I wanted it, um, an old lady that I look after has got a cat and it just spends all its time in this cat box and she's got a little towel in the bottom of the cat box to make it comfy but this is just where the cat wants to go. Um, it's just a wooden cardboard box, it loves it. So I thought I wanted to like make it a bit more girly because it's a girl cat. I'll get a little cat black, I'll get a little pet blanket. This looks tiny. So, mm, well, it'll fit. I think it will fit in the, I think it will fit in the box, but there's nothing to it. It is thin. This looks quite thick, but the actual material itself is thin as you like. Um, it's not as thick as this rim, the ridge to it. Um, yeah. Um, Hmm, a little bit disappointed in that. It was cheap, but I am a little bit disappointed. It was £1.69. Um, so what, I was expecting it to be like the little dog fleecy blankets that you can get from like, you can get them from like, well, obviously pet shops and supermarkets and Poundland do them, little pet blankets. And I was expecting it to be like that. But being Timu, because Timu is so, Timu is so cheap, I was expecting it to be because the ones in like Poundland and that were about three pound, I think. And I thought, oh, I'll get a really girly one from Timu, and yeah, it's absolutely tiny. So I think I might still go and get another one because um, that's not really going to do what I want it to do. It's a bit small, um, but yeah. So that one's one pound sixty nine. Now, this is for my son. My son is really into anime. Uh, he plays a lot of games online. He's a gamer. And I just thought these would look quite nice on his shelf. So I have ordered another one, um, which will be in my next order when it comes. But this is the first one. And actually, she is amazing the detail is amazing so it comes with a stand that she sits on and this is her it's beautiful so she obviously sits on the stand um, but then she also comes oh she's missing her arm so let's pop her arm in or is it oh please don't say it's broke oh <gasps> please don't say it's broke mm, let me just check bits out oh these are sticky pads so she can stick to that little seat so hmm okay Why does that not want to go in? It doesn't want to go in. Hmm. I don't know. I might have to get my son to have a little look at this because I can't I can't get the arm to go in. Oh saying Right, that arm's in. So I've 
I've managed to get this one in, but I don't understand how this one goes. Because if it goes in there, her hand is upside down. But if it goes in that one, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm spending too much time on this, but it's very cute. Um, I like it. And I'm sure he'll like it. So I'm just going to put all the bits back in the bag. She was £2.15. Now, the one I'm waiting on, I think, is smaller than that. Um, and cost me £4.49. Um, but it's just she was on um, their whatever it is offers that they do. Um, she was in that. Um, but yeah, lovely. Really like her. And I'm sure he will too. So £2.15 bargain. Little hair turban. Just it says now me and my daughter we use hair turban. We've got the ones that you put your head upside down, stick it over your head, twist it round, and then it's got a button that you like do here. Um so they're the ones that my, me and my daughter use. And then I saw this one. And it says... It's the same sort of thing. But it just goes on your head. Oh, it's not very big. <coughs> Donna, you look like a gimp. Um, yeah, I don't know how that's going to work. I don't think that is going to work. My daughter's got really long hair, a lot longer than my hair. Um, I don't know how that's going to work. Um, this was shower cap or hair cap, £1.7p. Um, so cheap. I just can't see it doing really what I need it to do, what I want it to do. Um, so but I'll, I'll give it to her. I'll let her try it. Um, but like I say, it was, um, only £1.7p. Right, let's get rid of all the rubbish down here. Oh, I'll do that one after. Oh, now, me and my son... We're the only ones that eat them, but we love egg salad green sandwiches. And now, I know it's normally egg mayonnaise, and occasionally now, in some supermarkets, in the um, sandwich section, you can actually get egg salad cream. I just prefer egg salad cream to egg mayonnaise. But I tend to just use a knife and fork to um, mush up my eggs before I put the salad cream in. And then I saw this little gadget. Um, and I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, so you've got your egg here and apparently you push this down over the egg and all these little holes, it separates it all, it uh, breaks it all up for you. So rather than me standing there in a bowl and spending ages making it all like little, little, little bits, this should be it's metal and it should be, yeah, you just... Go down once, egg done, in a bowl. Go down again, egg done, in a bowl. Hopefully, this is what I'm thinking. I'm just thinking it might make life just that little bit easier. Um, so, egg slicer, this cost me £1.11. So, we will see if that does as it's supposed to do. That egg slicer, £1.11. Right. Now, I've got my daughter some gel uh, nail polish to use with her UV lamp. And she didn't have any purples. And she's always offering to do my nails. And if you hadn't noticed already, um, or you haven't watched any of my videos, purple is my favourite colour. And I'm like, babe, I would let you, but you've got no purple. Um, so I've actually ordered her a couple of purples. I've ordered their K&R colour. 
UV LED nail polish. So I got that shade of purple, which is the lighter one. And then I also got her this one. get into it and this is the darker one now let's just have a look at the consistency never ordered gel nail varnish from teeny before they are tiny little bottles but yeah that's the color so that's the darker one and then this should hopefully be the lighter one. Oh, is that that Oh, that's like a grey colour. It's like a great grey purple. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I got her two purples. So she'll be happy now because it means she can do mummy's nails. Um, these were £1.29 each. So it's KR14 is one colour and KR30 is the other colour. Um, they don't come with any information on them whatsoever, but if you know what you're doing with gel, um, you know that each coat has to go under the UV light. So um, I got them for her. And then she also was getting very low on her top coat. I think it could be a top coat in here somewhere. There it is. just says yeah uv and led top coat so i've got a two of these and there's another one there so she's got two of them um and these were 89p each so i'll let her try these colors um i'll let her try these and if they're any good i'll definitely get her some more because yeah, like I say, I don't know what the quality of those is going to be like because I've never bought these ones before. But um, but if they're okay and, you know, they work, then, yeah, it's definitely worth getting other colours. Right. A little um, gadget for doing the dishes. What's this on here? Oh, I've missed this on my um, listing somewhere because um, I haven't written it down. But in here is where you put your washing up liquid, obviously. Well, not obviously, but yeah, it unscrews. So you put your washing up liquid in there. Oh, it's got a little thing there. So I suppose you press that and it squirts out some of the washing up liquid from inside. That's cool. Um, so it only comes out when you press that. So that's really good because I thought it just, if it came out continuously, that would be gone within not long. Um, but yeah, so it's just an ideal. It's really, really hard bristles. So I just thought for like pans and stuff that get quite mucky. Um, yeah, got that. Um, it was less than a quid, 100% less than a quid, but I can't find it on here. So I don't know. Right, never used these before. Again, these had really good feedback. So for cuts, grazes, thinking possibly pierced in sights, new pierced in sights, could you possibly use them for? I don't know, but I know definitely cuts and grazes, anything that you'd use iodine for. Um, oh, isn't iodine, isn't that supposed to be a, to pre-sterilise something? Because they normally put iodine when you have an operation in the hospital, don't they? They normally douse the area in iodine before they do their what they're doing but these are actual iodine swabs so there's a lot of them in there i don't know how many there are oh 50 but apparently you snap them um and the iodine comes out on the ends um so yeah 
I just thought that it was worth going in the medicate, you know, the, um, oh, what's it called? The accident book, you know, where you keep your plasters and your bandages and stuff like that. I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, that is where they're going to go. I will give them a whirl. Um, yeah. I don't own any ID. I've got none of that here. So I just thought these might. Yeah. So I'd... Yeah. I don't know if you can use these on open wounds. I'm going to have to... Yeah, I'm going to have to look into it and see what it says when I... Because I go on Timu all the time. And remember, remind myself what these can be used for. But I thought they would come in handy. Um, so they were £1.79 for the 50 which is I thought was a good price. I've got my daughter some nail files. This is a pack of five uh, for when she does her nails. These were dirt cheap. I actually wish I got some more. Um, a pack of five. Let's have a look at one. Oh, yeah, they're really, really, yeah. 100 by 180. They're just pretty nail files. Pack of five. Is it the same on the back? I'm going to read it because I love... Sometimes when you get um, instructions on things, it doesn't always make sense. And they tend to put random words in. So let's just see what this one says. Warmly tips. The higher grit it has, the finer the surface is and more suitable for soft nails. As there are differences for each nail, we only give a common advice. Please choose the right grit that suits you. Do not use the product if they are wounds on your nail. Stop using the product if allergic reaction occurs. Please clean it with a brush after use. Do not soak in water, otherwise it will affect the service life of this product. Oh. So anyway, those, um, I don't know if I told you how much they were, but for a pack of five, they were 26p. I so should have got some more. That was a bargain. Um, Okay, we're getting there. I've done all the little bits now. So I'm just going to take all the little bits out. Oh, that's that first bag done. Okay. Okay, right. I've never got a watch. I don't think. Oh, I might have had one in the past, actually, at the very, very beginning of when I first started ordering. But that might... No, I think that was Wish. I think it, the watch... Like the last watch that I ever got really cheap was Wish. So, yeah, I don't think I've ordered one from here. I'm expecting it to be similar quality um, because they're so cheap. It doesn't look bad. Let's um, take it out of the packet and have a look. Now, it's a material, it's a material strap. It is glass, um, so it's just a thin strap, nothing too big, bulky. It doesn't say on the back that it's stainless steel, so we shall see if it makes my wrist go green. Um, but what I wanted was one that glowed up in the dark. Um, I've mentioned it before on my videos. I struggle in the evenings, or it, like now, when I wake up in the middle of the night, and I want to know what the time is. I haven't got my glasses on. I cannot, for the life of me, read my alarm clock that's, like, at the other end of my bed. Um, so I thought, well, maybe get a watch. And um, and it looked like, on the website, that the hands on this one glowed in the dark. So it's just, yeah, it's... Um, it is cheap. Don't get me wrong. It is, you know, it is cheap. It's not a high-quality watch by any means um but i'm just intrigued to see if it glows in the dark i don't think it does you know which is the main reason i'm just holding it up to my light just 
just to see if I can get it to glow. Oh, it does. It does glow in the dark, yes. Um, so what I was thinking was, either wearing it at night, and if I can't be bothered at all, that's too much of a faff, I might just find somewhere to put it by my bed. Um, so when I wake up in the night and I will need to know what the time it is, I can just grab this and see, because it, it does actually light up. Um, but it didn't just a minute ago, so whether or not it fades over time and it needs a constant, I don't know. I'm going to see how it works. It was cheap. It was cheap. Um, it was very cheap. <laughs> it was £1.27. So, uh, yeah, we shall see what it works like. So for now, I'll just pop it back in its little baggy. So that's that. Right, last few items. I've um, got some nose studs. Um, I did have a ring in my nose for a little while, but it really started irritating my nose. Not because of the metal that it was, it was stainless steel. Um, and I think I got it from Timu. But it was one of the ones where it looks like it was um, a double ring. Um, and it just kept the, the so you'd like wind it through. And then on the inside, on the outside, sorry, you would have the bit that goes through your nose. But then you'd have another bit right up close to the skin to make it look like a, another ring where it's all, but really it's all attached. And I just found it kept stabbing the side of my nose. It was quite sharp. Um, but yeah, so I've actually gone and I'm using these tiny weeny ones that I get for my daughter. Again, from Timu, really cheap, but they're ideal for her for school because she's not supposed to wear piercings to school. So she uses the little tiny weeny clear ones. Um, so anyway, enough rambling on, I thought I'd get myself some nose studs. So I got these ones and I got them in the, um, what colour are they? It's the, um, the stone that's like multicoloured under different lights. Um, that's not, oh, I didn't realise they're different shapes. So can't really see it. So there's that one but these ones have the little bubble on the end which is the same as these now you do tend to stay in um let's just have a look at the others a minute oh don't lose don't lose oh yeah because that one's a heart this one's a circle and then this one's like a star shape beautiful and these are stainless steel so hopefully in my nose yeah they're obviously for my nose um so these ones the straight ones one pound 47 for the three absolute bargain and then i got the same sort of ones or exactly the same but these are on the bent wire. Are they exactly the th Yeah, they're exactly the same. Oh, gosh. Now, what I mean is... Oh, no. See that? It's got like a bend in it. Um, so this was a three-pack again. So I'll just show you. So again, I've got the heart. I've got the star, and then that one should be the circle. Again, stainless steel. Oh, I'm trying to get my face out of it so you can see them. Um, and these ones were £1.7p. So they're identical, but it's just they're the bent ones, and the other ones have got the little bubble on the end to stop them coming out so easy. Um, so cheap, so yeah. Super duper happy with them. And then two things left. Um, I've got a little set of, now these are supposed to be sterling silver. 
and it's just a little pair of nose studs. Uh, they're not nose studs, these are earrings. These are earrings. Um, oh, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. Uh, they're little butterflies. And they've got green and then pinkies and white. It's a bit hard to pick it up, really. Um, now, looking at them, the colours are not identical. The actual posts have got the little hall marks on. But I don't know if it's going to focus. No. But no, the right the wings there's little crystals. Um and they yeah, they're very cute. Very, very cute. And the fact that these are st sterling silver, these were only one pound seven P. So uh again, bargain. I do love the jewellery. I love the jewellery from um and then the last thing in, in this little one is i thought i'll try some of their face creams now their face creams some of them on there have amazing amazing feedback comments of people saying they can't get over how good it is it's like you know like really high-end stuff so i thought well i didn't want to buy a big box so I thought I'd start small, um, just, and this is one of the ones that had awesome feedback, and they did it in three sizes. I think this is a 15 mil. Oh no, this uh, oh that says 10 grams. Is there a mil on it? But yeah, they did three sizes, um, and I went for the smallest one. This was one pound forty nine. And apparently it's called Dragon's Blood. Um, Dragon Blood Face Cream is what I've got here written down. Retinol. Oh, I can't read it. Retinol place, Placenta Cream. Retinol Placenta Cream. Um, that is all in foreign. And that is all in foreign. Is there anything in English? No, none of it is in English. Oh, how cute is that? Look at that little bottle. How cute is that? So I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to trying this. So this is what it looks like. Oh my God. There's no smell to it. I can't remember if it's supposed to look like that. I'm just going to try a little bit on my hand. It looks like there's two different um, sorts of cream in there. So this is what it looks like. So you've got the white stuff, but then it's got this orangey stuff now i'm just gonna see how it see the white oh it does feel nice and it does it absorbs quite nice yeah it's gone in yeah there's no smell Obviously, you're not going to really see any difference. Um, but yeah, definitely looking forward to trying that. It's uh, definitely nice and lightweight. And it's completely absorbed into my skin. Um, yeah. I'm excited. Excited to try that. Um, obviously, if I like it, I will obviously get the next... I will get the big... 
box, but I just wanted to try it first. Um, and then, um, yeah. <laughs> Last one. We're at 50 minutes. Oh my days. Hopefully, there's people watching this, and hopefully, there's people still with me. Right, there's only three items in this one, um, and the main reason I put this order in is for this bag. Now, I thought I'd, I'd add it, I thought this was in this order, the one that I've just done, and it wasn't. And I was like, <gasps> and it was in the sale, it was in the flash thingy that they do. Um, and yeah, so I had to go back on and then put another order in for over £15 to be able to get the free delivery. But this is the bag. So, that's a strap. Let's just, let's just have a little look-see. Let's have a little look-see. Yeah. So, it comes with a long strap. Oh, sorry. It comes with a long strap. <clears throat> Which you just clip on. So let's do it. Clip you on there. Clip you on there. And then I love my bags crossbody. So I will have it quite long so I can wear it across body. So this is the size of it. So this is the size of it. Um, I do carry quite a lot of stuff in my bag. So I do like a, a bag with multi pockets as well. <gasps> I think the zip might be broke. Oh, no. Ooh. Okay. Right, yeah, zips are fine. <gasps> I thought one of the zips were broke. Um, so the main pocket... There's no other little pockets or nothing. It is just the biggest compartment. So, awesome. And then you've got another pocket here. Again, no other pockets inside. It is just another big pocket. But then you've got the third one here. Oh, I've just done it. And again, no other little because sometimes you can get like mobile phone little pockets or a little zipped pocket. There's none of that on this. It is literally the three pockets. But yes, I love it. And the fact it's got little skull, it's got little skulls, it's got skulls on it. And then these purpley blue flowers in grey. I like it. Um, they had it in a red option as well, but I just really like the purpley blue. Now it did definitely definitely look a lot more purple on the website but i'm still not mad at it yeah i really like it i'm so glad i put my order in put the second order in to get it because this was three pound 49 um i think normally they're like a tenner um so super happy with that very happy with that um, so that is the bag of oh, £3.43, so slightly cheaper. Um, and then just two other items, really. Um, I've got another t shirt, and I've started buying all my t shirts now in a size 18, um, just because I like the I like the the um the oversize of them and again it's a lovely material team who do the most amazing t-shirt material <gasps> i like it oh i like look at the picture on that that is beautiful beautiful now i'm not going to bother doing a try on it isn't it like i said it is now <gasps> it's quarter six I've got to be at work for nine o'clock. Oh, that might annoy me. That is, I don't know if you can hear that. It sounds 
for like when I walk around, you might hear me. It's a bit crispy, um, but we'll try it. But um, t-shirt, size 18, £3.90. But the material is just so soft. And then last item, a pair of joggers. These were £10.59. Um, I always get my joggers in a size 16. And I don't actually own any joggers in purple. And yes, it's the material that I like. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Sometimes it's really hard to tell what material is um, when you buy things. Oh, look at the colour. Now, they're looking quite blue there, but they are actually blue and purple. Yeah, see, they're looking quite blue. But I promise you, they are. There is purple in them. Um, and they're just cuff joggers. Um, and there's pockets. Yes, 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 yes. And the draw cord works. It's a real draw cord. Um, I absolutely love joggers from Sheen and Timu. Absolutely love them. Um, yeah. If you go back over all of my um, videos, you will see I've ordered countless pairs of joggers from Timu. Um, I used to get all my joggers from Boohoo. Um, but you're looking at anything between 10 and 20 quid for a pair of joggers. I'm saying 10, that's normally when it's a clearance. Um, but yeah, anything between 10 and 20. They were £10, uh, £10.59. Um, and yeah, my Timu joggers last me ages they can do tend to get a bit bobbly between the legs um but and between the crutch but they all do no matter where you buy joggers that's going to happen um but i love them i don't have any joggers that are purple love them absolutely love them um and that is it that is everything i've got um this has been a really long video it's 47 minutes I am going to say my goodbyes and try and get a couple more hours sleep before I have to be at work for nine o'clock. So um, I'll probably get in bed for six and try and sleep till eight um, and get a couple more hours sleep. Because, uh, yeah, I've had four and a half hours so far. So, uh, yeah, I could do with a couple more hours. But, um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, hit that subscribe button down below if you're not subscribed um, i'm sorry i didn't try on the t-shirt and the joggers but it, it's two items and yeah i really need to get back to bed so um but i just wanted to do it while it was peace and quiet so uh, yeah so i hope you enjoyed this um and i will see you again like i say i've got another one on order um uh, part of it is my son and my daughters um but I'll explain why I did. There is a reason. I ordered it in two parts. Um, there was, I think, £60 worth for myself. My son and my daughter both wanted about 30 quid's worth of stuff each. Um, and rather than do one big order, I did two separate ones. So, um, But I'll probably do the two as one video. But I'll get more into it and I'll explain why I did two separate ones um, in that video. Um, yeah, I really need to go to bed. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Um, and um, yeah, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye, guys.